To add multi-leaders to my drawing, first I'll make sure that the multi-leader style that I want is active, and then I'll choose the multi-leader command. It wants me to specify the location of the arrowhead. In this case, I'm going to click on uh, this first part, which will be the collar. And then I can drag my leader out and choose the angle that I want. And then it wants me to enter the tag number or the tag information. In this case, um, this is going to be part A. And I can hit Enter. And you see that it inserts that text into my multi-leader. We're using uh, a block style multi-leader uh, for this parts list. And so I can continue uh, adding multi-leaders. This would be B, my base part, would be C, and my screw would be D. In the case of my multi-leader uh, mark D that points to the screw, I need to add another leader to point to the other screw, both referring back to this same block information. I can use my add leader with my add leader, it wants me to choose a multi-leader, and then I can choose the arrowhead location to point to this screw. And it would continue to add additional ones if I had additional screws. I'm going to right click to end the command, and now I've added an additional leader to that multi-leader. If I've added additional leaders to a multi-leader, and I need to remove one of them, I can use my remove leader command. First it wants me to select the multi-leader. Next it wants me to select the leader that I want to remove. You notice that it's highlighted and when I hit enter that leader has been removed. If I want to clean up the locations of my multi-leaders and align them either vertically or horizontally or maybe even at an angle, then I can use my align tool. When I click on Align, it wants me to choose first the multi-leaders that will be included in the alignment. I can click on them individually, or I can use, in this case I'll use a crossing window, to select the multi-leaders. I'll hit Enter, and now it says to select a multi-leader to align to. In this case, I'm going to align to this one. And I want a vertical line. I could give it an angle if I wanted, but I'm going to give it a vertical line, so I'll turn Ortho on and click and it then lines up my block information for these along that vertical line. I have additional options available under my align command. I'm going to choose a line and again I'll select these three multi-leaders. And in this case I'm going to take my options rather than uh, use a line. So I'll say O from the keyboard and you notice that I have the options to distribute, make leader segments parallel, specify specific spacing or use the current spacing. I'm going to choose distribute and it wants me to choose the first point. So I'm going to choose the point here and the second point which would be the ending point and now it has distributed those evenly over that space. If I wanted to consolidate all of the block information uh, found in these multi-leaders into one leader, I could use the collect command from my multi-leader palette. When I activate collect, it asks me to choose the multi-leaders. I can pick them individually or use another method of selection like a crossing window. When I hit enter, it asks me for the location of this new collected information, and now pointing to this assembly, I'm saying it contains all three of these parts.